after meeting my gurudev and having diksha from him my only my only occupation was to be in the sadhana sit 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 think 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 identify 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 the path is open to every one of you every one what do you think of it the attainment is by the mind and the intelligence by their own application normally you employ the mind and intelligence in order to facilitate and help and guide your external interactions with the objects here the same mind and intelligence are employed with a view to interact with the inner presence the benefits of the intra- the benefits of the contemplation are to instill into the mind and intelligence themselves greater and greater refinement you engage your mind in introspection in introspection the introspection itself is a pursuit it's an engrossment that introspection will start making the intelligence more and more reformed refined rarefied the mental intellectual functions modifications will become subtler and subtler thinner and thinner feebler and feebler lighter and lighter slower and slower i'm keeping it i am moving it like this i reduce the speed further still further still further still further still still finally stop the same thing will happen to your mind let the anusandhana you do let it become gentler and gentler lighter and lighter feebler and feebler slower and slower until at last it becomes so thin it identifies itself with its very source it is such a simple process you know this is a gain for which there is no comparison in the world a whole planet becoming gold he would take it if you if it is given you will say i don't want it 